y'all. For Vlogmas Day 11 and 12, I got, I'm going to show you this recipe for sweet potato pie. Show you how to make a wreath and a couple of Christmas decorations I saw while I was out. Enjoy. Okay, so then I went on and peeled the potatoes and started them in the water, boiling till they're tender. Okay, this is after I pulled them out the water. Um, I went on and added the butter. You can add butter or margarine is your choice. I like country crock. I added the sugar. Uh, also, I'm going to be adding a pinch of salt. Um, not more than a pinch, just a pinch. And then we're going to go ahead and just start forking this over a little bit, mixing it up with the fork. Um, we just want to add the butter and the sugar and the salt all together um, before we add the other ingredients. We're going to be adding a teaspoon of the vanilla, the nutmeg, and also the cinnamon. Here you see I went ahead and added the two eggs. I am only needed two eggs because I'm only making one pie. Then I want to go ahead and mix that all in together. The last thing I'm going to be adding is the sweet condensed milk. But I'm just mixing this in really good on low speed and on the and with the blender. I'm sorry, the mixer. <laughs> so yeah, just gonna get that smooth and creamy consistency. So the pie is gonna be really delicious. So let's go ahead and fill this deep dish pie shell with the filling. And here's the finished product, ready to go into the oven. It looks yummy. 350 degree oven for 75 minutes. You can top this off with some Cool Whip. Enjoy. Here's a really quick DIY I wanted to show, show you. Okay, so you can buy a wreath in most places from Hobby Lobby, Michael's Craft, you know, Target. Sometimes even at the Dollar Tree, you can get a reef. But here's a really um, nice kind of full reef. Um, it was only $10 at Target. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little makeover here. I got some holly berries, some pine cones, some ribbon, and some um, bulbs, some ornaments from the Dollar Tree. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. I, I'm fluffing it a little bit, giving it a little life because it's kind of flat when you first buy it. So you have to fluff it up a little bit. And then we're gonna begin to add this. I chose these colors because they are coordinating with my living room and the colors that I'm using in there this year. So that's the reason I chose the red and the plaid, um, black and silver. So here you see the holly berries that I got from, um, I believe it was Michael's Craft or Hobby Lobby. They were on a branch, like they were on a full um, bushel of something and I just kind of pulled those off uh, with the wires is already there and you can use the wire as kind of like a, You know um, the way a way of to attach them. So I Just thought okay, let's just use the wire that's on it and go ahead and just kind of stick them in there They kind of become like picks because the wire is already on it So when you have like Christmas picks and whatnot, you can buy Hobby Lobby These became the same by me just pulling them off of uh, an existing bushel of um, cranberries so um, yeah I'm just taking these little faux cranberries and just putting them around the different um, areas of the reef um, where I think um, it needs a little color so yeah this is starting to look nice um, already I'm enjoying the way this is looking um, I'm going to begin to add the pine cones here pine cones uh, let's see I just think they add a little nature to it you know just like a little because they have the brown in there so it adds a little like outdoor nature kind of you know feel to it and I'm just putting these here randomly obviously I will once I get the desired um, effect that I'm going for I will go in and 
attached it with hot glow. So I'm liking the way this is looking, y'all. I think I like this. Okay, so here's my ribbon I decided to um, go ahead and use. Again, it was from Target. It has some silver in there. I don't know if you can see that, but it also has black and red and white plaid. So, yeah, I like that. I'm going to cut um, four equal pieces. About, um, I want to say eight inches long. Yeah, so um, I actually I had already cut the ribbon, so... I'm just going to go ahead and start attaching the ribbon to the wreath. This is a way of getting a, a really decorative kind of, you know, wreath without spending a lot of money. Uh, because this ribbon was $5 at Target. And I know I'm not going to even use, you know, uh, an eighth of it. I mean, I know I'm not going to hardly use any of this ribbon. I'll use some of it later on something else. I, I got another project I'm going to be working on tomorrow and I'll show you guys that and I will be using the remaining of this ribbon for that um, so it can coordinate with something else in, you know, in the living room that I'm doing. So this is cute. I'm liking this. I'm liking it. And I'm just kind of tucking the ribbon, not taking it all the way around the back, but tucking it inside of these reefs are some kind of like wire like in there so I'm just kind of tucking it down to where I feel the wire and I'll bend it a little bit because this wire does have ribbon in it I mean this this ribbon does have wire in it so I'm just go ahead and just tuck it around until I kind of feel that it's okay you know that it's sturdy is holding on to some later I'll hot glue it once I get it secure and how I want it of course then I got these little ornaments, the red ornaments I showed you guys the other day on my haul. Yep, these came from the Dollar Tree. And so I'm just getting them out this tube here. I really like that um, solid red one. Why well, it reminds me of a, um, the um, the pool ball. When you're, playing, when you're shooting pool, <laughs> it's just bright red. It just reminds me of one of those. But anyway, some of them have a little sparkle to them, and some are just solid like this one here. So, what I'm going to do, because they have this little piece on there, I'll probably go ahead and get my hooks. You know the hooks you, you put the ornaments on the tree with? And I'll probably have those hooks help me to reinforce the stability of those on the reef. So, yeah, I just didn't want to do that part. I'm either going to do that or I'm going to hot glue them on. I'm not sure yet. But again, this is me just playing with the ideal of, you know, how it could look. And so I was like, I'm liking this. I, I'm going to just put these bulbs or I keep saying bulbs, ornaments, guys. Sorry. But I'm just going to put these ornaments around the reef where I see that they might um, need, be needed. But yeah, I'm liking this a lot. And again, the, um, the ribbon was $5 at Target. The pine cones were a bag of pine cones, like a lot of these, for only like maybe five bucks. And then, of course, the little holly berries um, were on a bushel for like two ninety nine, and like a pig bushel. And then the bulb, the um, ornaments were. Look at me about to say ornaments again. I mean bulbs again. The ornaments was at the Dollar Tree. So yeah, you saw that in my haul the other day. So this is pretty cute. I like it. I think this is going to be the final um, touch, the final wreath. And if not, then I'll show you that if I change it up a little bit. But I'm going to be hanging this up some. I like it. What do you think? Hey, y'all, I had to go out tonight to get something. And look at this house. I saw this house and I had to stop the car. I was like, oh my God. Like, I love going out, driving around this time of year and seeing people and um, the way they um, get creative and decorating their homes. This is so beautiful and unique, though. It caught my eye um, probably like no other because it is so well done. Um, the, with the red, green, and white trim of the entire house and then the red green um, bushes in front it's just so beautiful and then I, as you walk around the side they have a couple of deer and then the backyard just wait till y'all see this <laughs> 